we've had a problem um, with the FDA that I think is not so much a problem with the FDA as the NIH and the CDC. Um, how can the FDA approve drugs for illness that the other government agencies basically don't take seriously? If they don't say this is a serious disease which, uh, for which medications are necessary, the FDA sort of can't go out on a limb and approve a drug that may have some side effects. This is the nectar of the gods that we're all waiting for. And we don't know if it works for all people, but I think we're entitled to a chance. You know, we have a, don't we have a right to life? So what kind of future awaits people with syphids? If you took 100 people who got chronic fatigue syndrome today, what would happen a year from now, two years from now, three years from now? People don't really know, but a rough guess would be about you know, a third improve, a third are stable, and a third are, are, are worse. But this is really just a guess. The disease is unpredictable. We've come a long way since pioneering doctors Paul Cheney and Dan Peterson were called quacks for treating the yuppie flu. There's some, uh, been some real change, change of mind that's, that we have seen in physicians who were adamantly felt this was not a real disease and finally see a patient, it's like they, they see the light and they get completely alters their view. And it comes very quickly when it comes. I mean, it doesn't come, it doesn't come, and then it comes. And then they, they drop down all of these, these uh, blinders that they've had on and all these preconceived ideas and biases. They simply drop it and for the first time uh, ever, they begin to look at this with sort of an open mind. And when they do that, this disease comes pouring in. Syphids continues to be a mystery disease, but what is known is that millions of Americans languish in its grip. They are sick and need help. The message I would like to get across to my colleagues who may or may not be used to treating syphids patients is to keep an open mind. Keep an open mind about what your patients are telling you. Keep an open mind about the diagnosis and other diagnoses. And keep an open mind about educational material that I hope will be available soon regarding how to deal with these patients, how to treat them, diagnose them, etc. And I, and I suspect that the research is going to be showing significant improvement in diagnosis over the next two years. Good. Okay. If you're a doctor in, a, in practice, as I am, and you see people who clearly are suffering, not yet clear what they're suffering from, but they're suffering. And many people, including some other doctors, have dismissed them and dismissed their illness. Um, it, uh, it's a sad thing to see. You're just a no, Cindy, you're all right. And if you can try to do something about it to better understand why they're sick and hopefully to try to make them better, uh, it's a great challenge. It is the central challenge of any one of us who's a doctor.